you, bandits! Don't be stealing our berries. We desperately need those. Because the mayor of this town has completely flubbed this, and he's pretty much just si sitting back, waiting for it to all burn. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Manor Lords, where I'm largely just waiting for everything to burn down, or people to starve, or get slaughtered by bandits. It's all, it's all gone horribly wrong, but we're going to try and make, I know, I know, this is shocking. You don't normally see this sort of thing on the channel. I'm going to try to make a few small changes based on some things people have said in comments. I know, I can hear your head slapping the desk right now. I can hear people dropping to the floor, but I'm going to make a few tiny changes based on a couple of things that people have said in comments and see if we can get this place slightly better. Dorothea, get my notebook. So here's one. Putting the logging camp next to the berry patch may have been fundamentally a terrible idea because, of course, they're chopping everything down. And that includes the berries. They're just destroying everything that lives over here, including our precious, precious berries, which, P.S., is about the only way we're surviving right now. I think all of our food, indeed, all of our food is berries. We are eating nothing but berries now. This is it. And uh, we're coming up on winter real, real soon, so that's a little grim. Let's try an experiment of moving the logging camp away from the berries. So let me see. I can relocate this, and I'd, ri I'd like to relocate this sort of here-ish, if we could. Plenty of trees over here. No problem with the tree issue. In fact, let's tuck you... Well, before you do that, Dave, why don't you see if there's anything else you need? There's a mining deposit over there, but I don't feel that cutting down trees is going to affect a mining issue. So let's put this guy over here, and then let's link you up to the road like we do. Okay, that is... St no, no, link, link, link you up to the road. Thank you so much. That's one thing that we're going to do. Now, the other one that came in that I was somewhat surprised at is I'm way too early in the game for a farm. I should have waited for farm until I have way more people around here because apparently, I am told, apparently, I am told, apparently, if these house plots are big enough, they'll make their own little vegetable patch in the back. Now, what I probably haven't done is made these big enough because they're not making any veg. There ain't no vegetables here. This is mud. We can't eat mud. I mean, we're going to have to eat mud. I want to be clear. We're eating mud at some point, but we're not supposed to be eating mud. We're yeah, see, this is probably way too small for them to do a vegetable patch. Although, you know, given a little creative plot outlining, I could get a small vegetable patch in there. Once you get rid of the mud, of course. So, I've already started the farm, and it's already being worked on. I'm, I'm somewhat reluctant to take it down now. I mean, it's already, like, halfway through doing whatever it is it does around here. Growing things, I guess? I don't know, but it's already done all of that. So I'm just going to leave that up for right now. I also, this came up in comments and I seriously don't remember the answer to it. Um, but I want to figure out, like, why are we not storing meat? I get that the hunting camp is full. I understand that. I see 12 out of 12. But the pantry. Now, I have gone through this left, right, up and down. I'm having a hard time finding the pantry in here. But let me see if I can find it. Now, I've been through this over and over. I've got a granary and a generic storehouse. I do not see anywhere in here a pantry. That does not seem to be something that exists. So I'm a little, I'm a little fussed on why they won't store the meat in either of these buildings, either in the granary. I get it, a granary grain. I do understand that, but there is plenty of room. We could be throwing some meat in there. It'd be okay if we did that. Or the storehouse where they're just storing nine shields at this point oh that reminds me i think i can get in a fight now somebody else was saying i can just knock down this number we don't need to send 36 people into combat so we got some spears how do i can i like make you go away oh no i made everything go away oh no that was terrible um now it's still 15 out of 36 yeah somebody was saying there's a way to knock this number down so you can just go out with whatever you have but i don't once again, I don't immediately see how to do that, so I'm going to broadly ignore it for right now. Okay, hopefully the berry patch will kind of come back up to speed here and the foragers can do their foraging. In the meantime, what I really need to do is get more houses going. Because more houses means more people and more people means more jobs being done. Oh, P.S. Apparently I do have money. It's right here under money. So regional amount, amount of money owed 
owned, rather, by the villagers from this region. Now, see, I was doing something ridiculous, like looking over here at the stacks of coins that says zero and treasury. I don't know. Call me crazy. That's where I thought my money might be. It literally says treasury. The icon is a bunch of coins and it says your personal money. But I guess that's just me snarly kind of snarky guy over here me but we we as a collective we as a unit apparently we've got 50 whatever they are so maybe we can do some trading and that would at least get us maybe some food or something how many unemployed people do i have three okay one of you go in there and i know it i know it does mean one family i do get that part uh, but trade okay what what do i do with this so no trade for stone. I I have stone. I'd actually like to get rid of some of the stone. I don't really need it right now. And roof tiles and blocks. All right. I'm not sure what a lot of these things mean. So I'm going to um I'm going to go make it go away. No storage left for production. The hunting camp camp again. Where do you people put the raw meat? Well, let's just get some more houses going on. How am I doing in like raw materials? Yeah, I've got 10 timber now. All right, so 10 timber. By the way, did they move the, the thingamajiggy? Oh, they are in the process of moving it. They do have, indeed have to reconstruct the entire thing. That kind of makes sense. I get that. They have to tear everything down and start all over again. Okay, houses, houses, houses. This time, let's try and make maybe a, a couple of nice big ones so that people can have a little farm plot uh, behind it. So how about this goes all the way over here and then like to here... Oh wow, that's that's a that's a lot of houses I just put together there. Okay, cool. It's gonna cost me ten timber, which I had a moment ago. I had it a moment ago. Okay, well that should attract some folks. And they just finished putting the lumber camp back up. Does the uh, does the guy stay there? No, whoever was in there has quit. Okay, so assign a family into there. Yes, like we're saving. We're very excited about that. Assign a family into there, because Lord knows I don't have any more timber. I just spent it all on houses. Dorothea, you've got to keep an eye on these things for me. I can't be expected to keep track of every little finicky detail. And apparently the foragers are out of berries. Yes, my little deforestation effort here has been sublimely successful in that there's no more berries. It is seasonal, though. I wonder if it's just out of season for berries. It might be. I don't know. It's like September. Well, there's nothing else to, to forage, really. There's no other foraging stuff around here. Maybe we just kind of fire these guys for right now. Um, why don't you not do what you're doing right now? Hopefully next year that's going to pop back. That would be great if it did. And we can get some more berries, especially if I'm not cutting down all the trees in the area. How's my firewood guy going? Because Oh, there's nobody here. Okay, uh, whoever was foraging, now you cut firewood because we have, in fact, zero zero firewood right now and it is september coming up to october and it's going to get a little chilly around here all right so the new plot went up and now i've got a whole new thing construct a backyard extension yes now someone was saying chickens are great because that is just a whole bunch of eggs now what is that what is that that i need for that is that flour maybe i don't know whatever it is i've done it okay construction started what do you what do you actually need? I don't know what that icon was. It looked like a bag of flour, but I might be wrong about that. I, Well, I'm wrong about most things, really. Ask Mrs. Dave. Also, I see we are getting, like, stuff out of here. Okay, I hate crop rotation. Oh, oh please don't make me do crop rotation. Um, should we maybe put somebody in the windmill? Because otherwise... And then in the communal oven, because we need these things to be happening here. Wait, this is a pantry? No, this is just a pantry for grain. Okay. Why can you not store meat in your own pantry? That doesn't... I'm a little fuzzy on that one. And this one just finished, so can I get a thing here? How about we did vegetables in this one? What is that icon? I don't know. Well, we're having veggies. Oh, the chickens are up. The chickens are in. We got, we got chickens. Chickens are working out. Oh, yeah, this is working out great. Uh, so these guys are going to be super well fed. Everyone else, not... Not as much. Is there anywhere else where I made enough space for that? No. I, I thought I was making these too big. I was, oh, these, these plots are way too big. No. No, you really wanted to allow yourself some extra room there, Dave. I need more people to move in. 
because I need to, well, I need to be doing more things. I feel the grain is going to come in and we've got nothing to do with it because we can't get the windmill on. So I'm rocking a 57% approval rating right now. Hopefully that means more people will come in. Now, while I'm here, why don't we try this trade thing again? So food, I would like, well, I'd like to have, how about bread? How about we just look at bread? Can we have any bread? Okay, after paying to establish a trade route. Okay, so I don't have a trade route yet. All right, well, let's pop out to the map and see if I can establish one. Oh, hang on. Let's get something in here, though, first. Um, oh, I can't do anything at all. Whatever it is. Yeah, not enough wealth. Oh, it's wealth. Oh, okay. It's the group wealth. Okay, that's what the icon is there. It looked like a bag of flour. So is there anywhere where we could, like, get a trade route? I don't want to claim it. I don't want to claim it with favor or influence. I just want to, like, send these guys a letter and go... Hey, oh, trade point. There we go. Trade point. Uh, can I can I have this? Cheap goods for import, work in progress, etc., etc. How do we begin to do this? I don't want to claim anything. I actually just want to set out a normal trade route. Oh, hang on. I think I've missed something. Isn't it supposed to be connected to, like, I don't know, the King's Road or something? Dorothea, where are we? We're over here. I'm going to assume that's the big road. And it seems to be connected. New mercenary companies available. Great, I have no money. No, Dorothea, I've blown all my money on chickens, as usual. I know! I know, I did that last time, too. Last town we tried to build. I know, I've blown all of my money on chickens. How do we get more of this? Okay, used for import or converted to treasury via tax policy. Okay, how do I... How do I extort my villagers better? Thank you. Now, in the meantime, we put together quite a bit of timber. No shortage of timber. We have no food, but we've got no shortage of timber. We have one firewood. Everyone's going to freeze to death. Okay, well, let's uh, let's keep this idea of people feeding... Well, I say people feeding themselves. We can't do anything with that unless we get more regional wealth. And that ain't coming anytime soon. The homelessness issue should be completely 100% sorted. We should have plenty of extra space. Can I expand these? It just said I could expand these. How would I go about expanding these? No, I don't want to demolish it or pin it to anything. Upgrade to level two. Yeah, we're not doing that yet. Yeah, I'm going to keep the house idea going for right now because we've accumulated again. Uh, re oh, they've stolen some stuff. Okay, so we've lost some hides. Wow, we just lost a lot of food. We, um, we just lost a lot there. Um, how much? Okay, we got 29 berries left and one firewood. I would love to be able to, like, try to deal with that. I don't know how to do that. Maybe because I don't have a militia. There's, like, nobody patrolling and going, Hey, you bandits! Don't be stealing our berries. We desperately need those. Because the mayor of this town has completely flubbed this, and he's pretty much just sitting back, waiting for it to all burn. As he d Anyway, I would like to be able to, like, I don't know, try to defend? Is that a thing we're allowed to do? Can I sort of... Oh, we've done another plot. Excellent. Um, can I sort of, like, send out my guys to go chase them down and shoo them away? I don't genuinely know. Who's unemployed right now? Okay. Two families unemployed. Great. Uh, let's do... Windmill? Windmill. Okay, because that's going to get us some flour. Okay, the windmill's in action. Let's try and attract some more people here, too. Let's get another couple of housing plots down. So let's do... From here, let's make it nice and big this time. All right, nice and big. So there, and then, oh, okay. Uh, no. No, I don't want that. I don't want it going that way. Anyway, go go like this, and then, yeah, that's what I want, I think. Like that. Okay, and there, and then over to there. That's it. That's what I wanted. Okay, you can, your house over here is going to be a little funky, but you know what? You'll probably get chickens. Yeah, the bandit thing where they just sort of magically appear and disappear like ninjas with my berries and my bread. Eh, I'd like a chance to defend. Maybe that comes up later. Maybe there's some sort of like, I don't know, town watch or city watch or something where we deal with that. What I do want to get, because it's going to come up soon, is the guy who makes planks. Because we kind of almost, not really, but almost built all the things we can build out of just timber. So we're going to need some planks in the reasonably near future. That would be, uh, 
industry. Oh, hang on. Go back to get. No, not gathering. No, 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 no. The one where I, I make things. It's probably industry, Dave. You said it the first time. Smithy, furnace, malt house. It's not in here. It's somewhere else. There we go. The saw pit. Two timber for that. And it's a nice small building, too. Let's put this guy right over here. That seems to make sense. Right by the wood. Be a very sensible place. Now, what have I got left? Uh, go, go away. I've got, wow, 12 timber left. Okay, that's not bad at all. What else could I make that would be of any value to me whatsoever? I want to put somebody over in the oven, but I can't... Not, not literally put a person in the oven. This isn't Hansel and Gretel. I want to put somebody working over at the communal oven area. Oh, new people are moving in. Perfect, that's just what I needed. That is just what I needed. Great. Somebody go be a chef. I feel the hunting camp is doing nothing at all. Because we've generated no meat whatsoever. There's there's no meat to be had. They apparently are sitting on 12 meat. Oh, hang on. Now it's gone down to 10 out of 12. Maybe 9 out of 12. Okay, are we taking this over to market now? I would assume. So, the marketplace. What's going on over here? Food variety, 32%. Uh, nothing stored inside. Okay. Maybe people are just swinging over to the hunter's camp and grabbing some venison and going home for the night. It's not being reflected up here, but it is It is happening, it seems. Wait, somebody just finished construction on a food stall. Firewood stall, food stall. And you have a pantry. Were we waiting that whole time to construct that? That's not right, that can't be right. Maybe there needs to be a certain variety of food before the food stall gets installed? One way or another, we're shipping some stuff over here. We ain't playing. We got some food moving over here. Wait, we have negative one meat? What, do we owe a, owe a guy a steak? Did somebody come by and borrow a steak? Or did we borrow a steak from him? And he's like, yeah, you owe me a steak. And now I'm at negative one meat. I'm back to zero meat. Maybe that was uh, while I was in transition. Maybe they were walking it from one place to another, and that's how that was reflected. I'm largely just guessing at literally everything I'm saying right now. But this seems to be a positive thing, that we have a food stall in the food place. Indeed, the food stall pantry now has four meat. So, what was the holdup on the food stall issue? Why did that just now get constructed? The answer is I haven't the slightest idea. But I'm happy that it's happening. How are we doing up here now? We have one meat. Oh, no, somebody bought it. And here we go. Here comes the snow. Here's where it all goes down. Here's where we all broadly freeze to death. We have a degree of firewood in that we have four. Is that going to last all winter? Maybe, maybe not. Kind of depends on how long the winter is now, doesn't it, Dave? How are we doing on my sawmill, by the way? Now we're just... Just not really getting over there. I think we're still maybe working on some of these houses. Nope. Nope, that's fine. The houses are totally up and running. Wish I could get some extensions to them, but here we are. Wheat field, obviously not going to do anything. Farmhouse, not going to do anything at this time of year. Okay, why are we not working on my saw pit then? I'm very, I'm very interested in my saw pit. What if I high prioritize this for you? I don't care that it's winter, Dorothea. No, I don't care if everyone's cold. Yeah, I know I should have put up the tailor. See, this is why Dorothea is vice mayor. Here she is with the ox. Obviously, nobody went and got the ox. We're all like, I can't, I, I can't move that big tree. It's too big for me to move by myself. I'm a tiny little human. Boy, I wish I had an ox so I could move a tree. And Dorothea's like, the ox is in the other direction. I will go get you the ox because I am vice mayor of this town and I'm the only one who's getting anything done. Now, that being said, they literally just have to roll the log from here to here, I'm pretty sure even I could do that. Is for saving. We're very excited about that. But I, oh god, what again with the bandits? I do I not get a chance to fight back? Is there something in? Uh, obviously there is. Obviously I'm doing everything critically wrong as I traditionally do around the channel. It's just it's it's a branding thing, frankly. Uh, is there something that I'm missing here in terms of like I don't know fighting? So the manor, would that maybe allow me... I, there's nothing I can do with that right now. I, I don't even have the settlement size, for one thing. How do we make them not do this, is what I'm asking. So right now, what I've got is bandits coming in and doing things. 
And what I'd like to do is have them not do things. Probably the answer is go take out the bandit stave. That's probably the move. So instead of them, they'll, they'll probably just keep pilfering stuff all the time until you go get them. Where are there's a bandit camp way over here. Way over here. It's a hundred percent effective bandit camp. Dang, I'm not a hundred percent effective at anything, especially dealing with bandits. There's brigands over here. Oh, thank God, they're only 99% effective. So that's probably the answer, is get an army together and go beat those guys up and they'll stop stealing your food. But I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing like a city watch or some sort of guard, you know, a little patrol that I could put up maybe around the granary in the storehouse where we'd at least have a shot of fighting them off when they came in. I don't know, maybe that's a down the road kind of thing. This is this is early access after all. A lot can change in in time. Let's put a road up over there though. Seems to be a very sensible place for a road. I should have, I got a ton of timber. How do I, I would actually be okay with trading away some timber if I had the slightest idea of how to do it. So trade again. Okay, okay, I know, route required. Major trade, a trade route is required. Never trade this good. No, I'm happy to trade this good. No, I, I have no problem with that. I will export stone. Uh, not much. I'll say like five. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to export five stone, maybe. Oh, there we go. Establish a trade route. Yes. Uh, I don't know. How much does it cost me? Well, you, you tell me, chief. Did I, did I pay for that in stone? I... I have one less stone than I used to. What, what's going on here? What have I done? So if I wanted to import some food, can I do that? If I said like, I don't know, keep it simple, like two bread. Ah, no, I don't have, I don't have enough of the, uh, the wealth up there. The, I have four wealth. Ah, that appears to be what I spent it on. Okay, I spent it setting up that trade route. Okay, so... I think I've just basically sold off a few rocks for not really that much benefit. However, I got the mining pit up here that I've done nothing with. How much does it cost me to set one of those up? A stone cutter camp. Okay, two logs. Now, I'm already seeing the comments coming in. I can already see the comments. Okay, if you put this up here, somehow these two things will interfere. But I've got to figure... Stone and trees are mutually exclusive. I'll lose a few trees when I put this thing down, but I'm I'm pretty much broadly okay with slapping this guy right here. I mostly just want to see what happens to it, frankly. And why do we have supplies out in the middle of nowhere? Why are these not going to like the no that that's somebody's house, Dave. Don't don't click on that. It's creepy. Uh where's my generic storehouse? The granary and the storehouse. Thank you. Ah, because there's probably nobody working here. That's a good reason right there. Uh, how many... I've only got the one... Un or two unemployed. All right, put one person in storage. And apparently that's boosted the efficiency a little bit. Go grab those things from outside. It's a terrible idea leaving those out like that. Um, Dorothea! Dorothea, how are we doing on the saw pit? Because I need to employ somebody in there. Hmm. I should probably wait until, well, A, we have more people. Or B... I've got um, more more people. Really, those were two of the same thoughts. So I was going to go off on some list, but um, really, the, I just need more warm bodies. And I've got the lumber to do it. I've got the timber to do it. How about we set up a couple of houses maybe over here? That might be kind of fun. So get me residential. And yeah, you can live right next to this guy. And then over to here. And then down... Oh, no, 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 I don't like it like that. I like it the other way. Okay, do the... Th yeah, that way. That way. So this is facing the road. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, you're going to have a funky little border here. I like you already. Yeah, they're still way behind on these ones, though. I didn't even look to see these ones had not even been built because I prioritized the sawmill. And yeah, they're still cranking these things going, Okay, well, you know what? We'll have more houses. More houses is just more room for more people. There we go. Somebody just moved in. 34 people right there. Somebody just moved in right now. 35 people right there. Okay, so more houses, the better. That's still not helping with my regional wealth. How do we... How do I extort more money out of my citizens? Because they're not paying me enough. I'm going to throw someone in the saw pit because we've got some extra people. Not enough funds for transport. Of course I don't. 
Well, although I did just gain a few wealth points up there. Right, so I can't I can't even do the thing that I want to do at this point. Export price of one, it's it's barely worth it. It's barely worth it. Okay. I don't um, there are many things I don't understand. Nuclear physics. That's 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 probably right up at the top of the list. Electricity. I don't really understand how it works. I'm just glad that it does. Uh, many, many things that I don't understand. But one of them, and it's not even in the top 10. It's not even in the top 100. It might not even be in the top 1,000. But one of the things I don't understand fully is quite how trade works here. I do understand the phrase running out of food, though. That part I understand just fine. I mean, I'd say put somebody back in the forager hut, but there's no berries. How are we doing on the whole oven issue? Nothing. We have, we have no food. I have one thing of meat. I have one thing of meat. If I... Okay, so I've got wild animals over here. We could move the hunter camp somewhere else. And no, 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 no. Whatever I said is wrong. I meant to do this one. Uh, so, this time, don't put it right in the circle, Dave, because that makes the animals run away, and then they're sad. We have negative one firewood. I owe somebody a log of wood. Slap that down there, and then put a road to this, and then see if we survive the next month. Well, I may as well put somebody in the stonecutter camp. I, I made it. I may as well use it. And there's somebody in the logging camp. That's cool. We've got some logs in there, and then how about the saw pit? Great, we're doing nothing at all. Construction reserve. Reserve will never be used for crafting, so that enough will be left for construction. Oh, okay. That that makes sense. Um, sure, let's do, like, say, five in reserve. And then, so we're never going to go below five um, unless it's for construction. Okay, that, that I understand. Now, just before we all starve to death, I've... I've got things. I've got a new message for a start. Hang on, I've got mail. Reports of a band of raiders. Should we track their steps? Yes! Why don't we finally track their steps? That would be another ruler's army? I'm sorry, army. Followed by was sighted. I was going to have a conversation about actually putting together a militia, because I believe I have the quantity to do that now. So if I said... Everybody grab us. No, 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 no. Just, just, just that many. 26 out of 36 is what I've got. So I would assume not everyone can join the military here. I swear somebody said there was a way to shave this down. To just get 20 out of 36. I know there's equipment missing. But can I just have them anyway? Just a plucky band of militia. Just going out. Look, I survived my first year. Nobody thought that was going to happen. Ha! Who's laughing now? <laughs> you are, because we're all going to die soon. So, pre prepare... Prepare for the attack, you say? How? Okay, I want this guy. Yes, I want you. Rally. Okay, pick a rallying spot. Alright, we're going to have 20 guys in the Spear Militia. And that that's it. That, that's all I've got. Okay, so pick them and then put a rally point... Apparently, I have a year to deal with the raiders. A new family has moved in. Oh, if they only knew. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Manor Lords for today. Um, obviously, I thought we were going to die of starvation, and indeed we probably will, but the raiders will get us first. So it's encouraging when we go down fighting, or at least 20 people go down fighting and the rest of them run away. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet. But I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. Broke Dave.
<laughs> uh, talk about yourselves, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.